What kind of dish will you make if you only have eggs as your only ingredients? You may probably think of scrambled eggs, pan fried eggs, or boiled eggs. Actually, we can do steamed egg as well. Today, we're gonna learn how to make steamed egg. It sounds easy, but actually, there's techniques that we have to learn. Let's get started. As eggs are the only ingredients in this dish, pick the good ones. It does make your dish taste more aromatic and better. In this recipe, I used three eggs, and I'm and using a plate which is 7.5 inches. You may adjust the quantities of eggs you need according to your plate size. Also, use the eggs from room temperature instead of right out from the fridge. Great! Now I have three high-quality eggs. You see how beautiful the orange-red egg yolks are? Whisk the eggs thoroughly to make sure the egg white and egg yolk are combined well together. This will make the texture smoother. Then we add the water into the eggs. The ratio of water versus the eggs are used is 2 versus 1. Don't worry too much about the ratio. We can always control the result. If you add more water, just steam it for longer time. Or less water is added, steam it for shorter time. Like what I'm doing, add the water slowly into the eggs and keep stirring the mixture at the same time so that the egg and water combine well. Use boiled warm water. The reason why we use room temperature eggs and warm water is because eggs are very delicate. The setting point of eggs are comparatively low, so therefore we want to make sure the eggs are set evenly in the whole plate. However, if the mixture is cold, there will be chance that the side sets very nicely but the middle is undercooked, and we don't want it to happen. We use boiled water because we don't want the bad taste of the type water. Great, now we transfer the mixture through a sieve to remove any bubbles and residues. To make sure the texture is smooth, use a spoon to get rid of the bubbles on top if you see any. Cover the top with plastic rub. Awesome, then we can steam it. Use a pot with glass lid so that you can monitor the whole process. Steam the content in medium heat for 9 minutes. It comes to the tricky part. The time to steam the eggs may vary according to each kitchen. The time to steam the mixture may vary because each kitchen is different. We have different stove and also the containers are different. For example, in this video, I'm using this stainless steel container it takes me about 9 minutes to steam the mixture. However, if you use this kind of uh, plate, which is made of china, then because the conductivity of the materials is weaker, so it takes a bit longer time to do it. For this, I will need 5 minutes more, which is 13 minutes. If you use thicker materials, it can even take you 20 minutes. So do a bit of test, and then you will know your kitchen very well. During the process, we will see a lot of water condense on the top of the lid. That's why we use the plastic wrap to cover the top and prevent the water drop right into the mixture and ruin the texture. Shake a bit of the pot from time to time. You can see the mixture is still runny. It tells you it's not cooked yet. Mm, now the texture is good and it is 9 minutes. Wait, it is nicely set. Then switch off the fire and let the whole content to sit for another 5 minutes. This is to let the remaining heat to finish the cooking process and also cool down the temperature of the mixture slowly. Do not open the lid during the whole process. After 5 minutes, the steamed eggs is ready! If you find the steam eggs too firm, steam it for a shorter time next time. If it is too runny, steam it for a longer time. Garnish with spring onion. Oh, and the sauce. 1 teaspoon of sesame oil and 1 teaspoon of soy sauce. As simple as that. Add the sauce on the steam eggs. Yay! It's ready to serve. You see how silky and smooth the steam eggs is? Haha. <laughs> You want a bite, don't you? This dish is light and high in protein. Everyone from 8 years old to 80 years old loves it. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if you like the video. I'll see you next time.